Survivor Series quarterfinals of the WWF WrestleMania 2000 Tournament. That's right. That is right. Tonight for you, ladies and gentlemen, we got two matches. We got eight competitors left for the tournament. First match of the night, we've got Jeff Jarrett coming out with Deborah versus The Godfather. Followed up with the Blue Meanie versus D-Lo Bobblehead Brown. But first off, yeah, it's going to be a quick one tonight, ladies and gentlemen, with Jeff Jarrett and Debra against The Godfather. Jeff Jarrett known so far to this tournament for being a company to the ring. There she is. Being accompanied to the ring by Deborah, as he is once again. Cameron, get him out of the way. And what is Deborah wearing today? She is wearing the same outfit she wore to help Jeff Jarrett win at SummerSlam 1999. Hopefully, it will not help him out in this tournament here. And Jeff Jarrett, once again, stealing other people's gimmicks, is mimicking his previous opponent's attire. Pink, the favorite color of Mr. S. But here comes Godfather with the train. And wearing a nice white and red attire. And looks like he has a new hoe with him. A brunette this time. Known to be a superstitious man. If don't really understand why he would bring out a new one. But hey, she's a lot more attractive than the previous one. So props to the Godfather. Woo, toot toot, hopping on the whole train. Something you all need to know about this match, and some of you already do know, is Jeff Jarrett quickly locks in the headlock, but Godfather gets out. Something you all need to know is that Godfather and Jeff Jarrett agreed on a stipulation in this match. If Godfather wins this match, Deborah gets to join his home train. But if Jarrett, a nice hit to the leg, if Jarrett wins, the Godfather's got to give up his pipping forever. So let's root for the Godfather if Jeff Jarrett hits him with a textbook suplex. Throws him against the ropes. Nice drop kick by Jeff Jarrett. Great kick to the face there. I hate complimenting the man. Oh no, what a kick to the chest. Dropping Godfather like a ton of bricks. As he back is dirt to the outside. Oh no, Jer <laughs> That's what you get, Jared, for mimicking the Godfather. A pimp slap to the outside and a baseball kick to the face. Nice reverses back and forth. Get this started. Oh, oh nice. There goes Godfather. As he moves away from the clothesline, look at this again. Right. Even copying the Godfather's touch, and he eats it with the boot in his face. Just an all-around piss poor mistake by Jared. Look at him in the legs. Nice and Jerry by Jeff Jarrett right there. Wise strategy by Jared so far, working on the Godfather's legs as he has been known to just kick people over and over again. He can stretch his legs out really far. Oh, what a clothesline as Jared flips over. Oh, not a good call by Jared trying to hit Godfather in the groin. Ask HBK how that turned out for him as he locks in at our bar. Damn you, Jeff Jarrett. Hitting him on the back. He locks in a camel clutch. Stealing the move that The Rock won his last match with. A wise choice to go with moves that people have already won matches with, but I don't see Jarrett pulling any of those off the way that the other guys did. Nice backhand. Oh, chopped to the throat. Can't believe Jarrett backhanded Godfather there. And it ends it, Gary, by Godfather. Oh, nice block in the backhand. Jeff Jarrett has done his homework as far as it comes to Godfather and his backhands. Scoop slam. Godfather right back up. Off the ropes goes Jarrett. Drop it down. And what a drop kick. A much more powerful drop kick than the one Jarrett did. As he misses the crowd. 
Godfather saw that coming a mile away. Off the ropes. Oh, what a brutal spine buster. Oh, Jared going back to working on the Godfather's legs with the figure four. Don't think he's done enough damage. He's going to need a few more of those as I was obviously correct in my assumption there. Jared's got no oh, one elbow to the face of the Godfather as it, it dazed him a little bit there. It locks in another choke hold. One that Steve Austin used to beat Mr. McMahon in the first round of the tournament and Jeff Jarrett mimics the Godfather with the clothesline. Can you do anything original, Jeff Jarrett? He tries to roll him up the same thing that one last match. Godfather kicks out there. Even though he had his eyes on Deborah's puppies, this time covered up puppies, he has seen so many puppies in his time that a roll up like that would not hurt the Godfather's chances here. Uh, get your taunts out of here, Jeff Jarrett. You are not Ric Flair. Uh, reverse is very good, Godfather. And finally, a back body drop after four minutes into the show. Godfather's shirt was ripped open on that. He might have hurt his back of his head a little bit there. He did drop a little funny. Pulling out of the way. Now he's kicking him, still showing Jarrett those fingers for it. Oh! <laughs> Another close line! Oh, and working on that knee. Those figure fours haven't done much damage to the Godfather, but he does not want to get locked in it again as he has to roll the thigh. Uh, and, oh, there is another figure four. Come on, Godfather. Strike it out. Strike it out. Get off. There it goes. Shoves him off. Blocking the oh, another shot to the throat. Jared keeps going for the throat like a serial killer. Oh, kick to the chest. Now Godfather's favoring that leg after that last figure four. And a abdominal stretch, and he's shoving his face against the ropes. Same thing he used to beat Kane in the last match. Oh, oh God, another close line. Two, two. Yes, Godfather! Smacking him on the head. Now Jarrett's inside. Sides are hurt. Oh, he's grabbing his stomach. Something's wrong there. He predictably misses the move. Oh, now Godfather tries to roll him up. Two! Oh, it kicks out. Not a whole lot of breaks here in this match. Just a lot of consistent back and forth there. He knocks him to the apron again with an elbow. Oh, this is back in. Oh, Jeff Jarrett back. Oh, good. Yes, he puts him up. Boom, pit slam. Go. One, two, three. Yes, Jeff Jarrett is good. There's no more. He's out of the tournament. You should not have backhanded the Godfather. You got lucky the first time. You should have learned after this right here when you tried to mimic him, and boom, took the baseball slide to the face. But Jarrett did look mildly impressive there with that spy buster. And the figure four that ultimately did not do much damage to the Godfather here. Another close line. Oh, I'm so excited. Jeff Jarrett is gone, but Godfather gets a high class hoe. Probably will be only his hoe. And Debra won it. Just look at that. Oh, he was just completely shot there for the three count. Jared is gone. Debra's still here. As Godfather moves on to WrestleMania in the semifinals. We'll find out his opponent when the Blue Meanie goes off against CeeLo Brown right now. I don't know what D'Lo Brown's plastic surgery is this time, and honestly, I don't really care. I've been kind of back and forth on the guy, but I'll get back, I'll get back to that when he comes out. We got the blue meanie, my hero, your hero of the tournament. He took out Big Show in like 10, 12 minutes. Then he took out Triple H in like another 10, 12 minutes after he hit him with three DDTs. And he even had Triple H with a pedigree. If you have not seen that, you need to. Oh, what is it? Wait, no, 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 no. 
No, 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 no. There's no way he... No. Oh, my God. D-Lo Brown coming up. Look at him. He got plastic surgery to look like B.A. Brackett himself. Mr. T. Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. Oh, it is so hard to hate this man. It is so hard. It goes back and forth. First, he helped out the boss man. And he beat Road Dog. But he did beat Michael Pretty Soupy Hayes. I don't know what to feel about this. But he did try to get Cactus Jack eliminated. And that's unacceptable. And he's going against the Blue Mini who drops him on his new Mohawk. And Kilo Brown, of course, misses the spinning wheel kick like his name is Alex Wright. Off the rope. And on top. Blue Meanie is a very agile man. I have said it many times before, but it's something that D'Lo Brown definitely needs to keep an eye out for. He needs to not underestimate him. He is a very rotund individual, but he can move a bam. He can move around like a luchador. Oh, chops him down to the ground. And a suplex. Blue Mini seems to have darkened his makeup. This time going for the look of one of the Beagle Boys from DuckTales. Though he is not a criminal, he is a master of the art of wrestling. As he hits him with a suplex there. Mimicky Gino Brown. And he puts him in a rolling clutch pin. That's the first time we have seen that move executed in either one of these tournaments, unless I'm mistaken. But I don't think we've seen that. Oh, the triple main butt. Have not seen that since he used that to great effect against the Big Show. See those brown elbows up. Those shots to the gut won't help you very much there, Zelo. Uh, as he reverses the neck breaker and oh, picks him up and jumps him with the back breaker. And it's him with the main team power face slam head punch. Something he has used multiple times. Probably even more than Ming Chi himself. The side slam. Another elbow to the back of the head. Working on that head does not want to feel those headbutts again as Mini rolls out of the way. And hits him in the back. As you can see, Blue Mini is very versatile. D'Lo Brown is not as he keeps trying to hit the same moves. And that spinning wheel kick has not helped him out in either of his two previous matches, so I do not understand why he's still using it here. But these elbows are having an effect. As you can see, Blue Meanie is wobbling as he gets up, but he rolls out of the way there. And successfully executes a neck record this time. So circle each other, figuring out what to do. The Snapmare. Picking him up again, quick, with the forearm to the face. Oh, back, back and forth again. Another. And D-Lo gets the upper hand again. And, oh, look at that! Turning him over for a Texas Cloverleaf! You could need a lot more of those as Blue Meanie's thick legs just got him out of that. Reverses him against the ropes. Oh! Good! Oh, he goes up top! And an elbow! What a quick succession of moves there as he dodges a spinning wheel kick. Blue Meanie is so fast. I don't know if there's anybody faster than him in this tournament. As he actually gets shot to the outside. But this spinebuster, cool, powerful, kept him down. Enough time to hit him with the elbow. He was not going to take his time there and knew he needed to follow that up right away as they're back in the ring. Another triple main butt to the back of his head as he goes up again. And a leg drop to the back of D Lowe's legs. As he tries again with the spinning wheel kick. I was gonna say, I thought that, that leg drop would have tried, would have maybe taught D Lowe not to do that move again. He does another arm toss, but D Lowe did not learn from that. As he's up again! And another leg drop! Right to his gut! 
Blue Mania has been in control for this entire match. Things do not look good for D'Lo Brown as he knocks him to the outside. And he goes up again. What's he got here? Oh! Stomps on the back of his neck. D'Lo Brown is gone. Oh, he's going for a roll up in. Although this is no DQ, it is not false count anywhere. So he cannot pin him on the outside. As he misses another. Give it up, D'Lo. Give it up. As he goes back in the ring, grabs a hold. Stretches up. And Fork Henry, sexual chocolate, coming out to help his former tag team partner. God, maybe that's why D'Lo Brown tried to get Cactus Jack eliminated in the previous round. And I'll tell you why. Because Cactus took out his former tag team partner, Mark Henry, in the first round. Oh, Dr. to the apron. See if this is at all gonna have any effect on Blue Meaty. And it is so far as he gets knocked to the outside. Oh, he's just showing off. But Blue Meaty's back up showing him that he can dance, and that is not having an effect on him. Going for Mark Henry. Off the ropes. Oh, it's him with a cap kick. And a splash. And a leg up. And a splash. And an elbow. And Tilo goes up. And a splash. Oh, but Tilo misses the crowd as he slips off the ropes. And he ends up with an insecurity. Blue Meanie not at all focused on Tilo Brown. And I really, really think he should here. Oh, he's putting him on top. And it's the Frankensteiner! As he takes a page out of Meanie's book, goes to the top, and Meanie blocks the moonsault. Oh, his gut's gotta be killing him. Kilo's gut has gotta be killing him there. A backdrop on the back of his head. And Henry picks him up, not gonna let him relax at all. Doing their bobbleheads. Off the ropes. Alright, Meanie's gonna take his time, gonna get away. Uh it's Henry with the insecurity. As Mark Henry leaves, a grabs him. Oh no! Sky high! Oh! No! No! Oh no! Beanie's out of the tournament! Drops the D-Lo taking advantage of the situation. Something possessed Beanie to go after Henry there. But look at the spy buster. God, and the elbow the first four minutes. God, up to this point, I swore Meanie had this in the bag. But then Henry came in, and then there was the cap kick, and honestly, I think this is, that was the turning point of the match. Henry, completely rejuvenated after losing, was very effective here in helping Dino win. Dino putting the exclamation mark with the sky high, out of nowhere for the three count ball. Out goes Meany, and on goes D'Lo to the semifinals at WrestleMania against the Godfather, another former tag team partner of his. But next we got Royal Rumble. Next week, April 25th, Shane McMahon will go against Ken Shamrock. And in the next match, two former tag team partners, the Rock and Suck Connection face off with the Rock against Cactus Jack. Two superb looking matches on paper. Let's see if they can live up to the expectations that everybody has for both of those. This has been Survivor Series. Thanks for joining us again in the WrestleMania 2000 tournament. Please like, subscribe, share, all of that awesome nonsense. But if you had never seen the WCWOW Revenge Tournament, Go check that out above, and if you want to see this from the start, look at the WrestleMania 2000 tournament. Announcement right there, click on the link there. Hope to see y'all again. Thank you for joining us, Jabroni. Ja